This isn't normal, or rather, it shouldn't be. Things that for many decades were givens, the checks and balances on the executive, the role of the judiciary or the civil service or the electoral commission, a media free from interference or vilification now appear vulnerable. We're seeing politicians move in directions that are deeply and clearly deleterious to basic democratic government. So what has changed? Well, there's always been scope for abuse in our constitution, of course, but in recent times, so many previously settled questions around our democratic norms have been upended and at a staggering speed. Dr. Hannah White of the Institute of Government observes, this is not about introducing change per se, which we've always seen. It's about people in power who are prepared to test the very limits of the constitution to achieve their aims. You don't have to look far for examples. Things that once would have shocked us now seem commonplace. The ministerial code violated with impunity, a blatant disregard for the principles of the cabinet manual, the unlawful attempt to prorogue parliament for five weeks by an executive that wanted to remove parliamentary democracy from the decision-making process. The blink and you miss it moment, the governing party's Twitter account changed its name to Fact Check UK in the middle of an election campaign to cope party propaganda in a format that sounded objective. Or the admission by the then Northern Ireland Secretary that he'd be prepared to break international law, but only in a very specific and limited way. <laughs> like murder. I'm not sure the breaky of international law gets off the hook for being limited and specific. We can go on. Limits placed on judicial review, ministers' failure to defend the role of the judiciary, efforts to increase political control over public appointments, the attempts made to change parliamentary conduct rules for cronies. You know all this. You can join in the chorus. That was spinning. That was an example of spinning. Well, Time that you got real and you understood that you're not working for Murdoch at the BBC. 